Hi guys, Alex here from the TaylorMade Tool Truck and we've just had a driver build come in from Guido Migliosi. So I'm going to take you through step by step today of how we build that. Step one, we would pick the components. So we can see here we need a nine degree head, which is going to be set on lower. He also plays Ventus TR Blue 7X. So I'm just going to jump into our shaft rack here. It's a shaft and then we just need his grip, which is a tall velvet 58 round. I'm actually going to grab two of these and I'll explain why in a little bit. So now we've got all the components, we're going to start putting them together. Step one for me, I'm going to tip this driver shaft um, one inch, which is the tall standard. And we're just going to belt this shaft here to get the outside paint layer off. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to glue the shaft into the head. So we know that Guido plays his um, setting on upright one lower. Again, for lie angle, but also for the face angle. He likes it to sit a little bit open. Um, and we've taken a little bit of loft off as well, just to um, optimize his spin. Okay, so now the head's set up in the correct setting. We're just going to chuck it on the ruler here. We know that Guido likes to play his at 45.25, so I'm just going to measure it an eighth under to allow for the cap of the grip. And we'll cut that to length. And the next step is we're going to mix the glue and glue the head onto the shaft. So we just get some shaft bead in there to centralise the shaft. Give that a nice mix. And then we'll glue the head on. I'm just going to line the shaft graphics up down the back. And then we'll chuck that on the heat rail, give that 10 minutes, and the glue will be dry and we'll be ready to grip. The club's had 10 minutes to dry, so we're confident that that's ready to grip now. So I'm going to grab my two grips and head over to the grip station. Clamp this in. So we know that Guido plays a tall velvet 58 round with one layer of tape. We've just got some quick drying fluid here as well. So once this dries, the player can hit this grip in 10 minutes. So the reason I've got two grips is I'm now going to check the length so that these will be consistent throughout the set. Just make sure it's square. And we'll dry that off and we'll leave it on the side for 10 minutes and then it's good for him to hit. Okay, so now the grip's dry, we're just gonna do the final few checks. So we're gonna come over to the swing weight machine here. We are actually gonna move this weight out to the toe to begin with, because um, Guido hates missing left love to fade the ball so chuck that in there we'll check the swing weight and we're looking for d3 and we're actually bang on d3 as we are so i'm not going to need to make any adjustments to that have a head cover from up here and we're good to go